come down early this morning chaps uh, just to check everything's ticking away nicely and it appears it is and then I'm going to go back home just to have a shower and what have you so uh, 18.3 degrees you little beauty and let's just jump up the top have a look what we've got going on up here I can't feel anything but what I might do is just connect the pipe and put it and put it in a jug of water just to see if we've got some bubbles we're back in chaps I've just pegged up a cable across here temporary like until we get the uh, underside of this done and then we'll we'll run it along these rafters but uh, that cable is going to power all the fridges and everything that we're going to have over here in this corner to store the yeast and what have you you can see I've slung some cables up ready to go for some sockets I have to disconnect a few sockets on that side of the building where the cold room is going to go in a couple of weeks time and while well, we're fermenting what do you reckon? well I can only apologise I've been that busy I neglected to pick up the camera all freaking day it's gone five Gemma's just coming back from the opticians with Dominic in a, in a short while to take me home and get changed for the presentation night so maybe I'll pop a bit of that footage in if I get chance to edit it in time if I get home early enough you can see I've put a pipe in the back it's one of the jobs I've done so we've got a cold feed to the CLT now so that is hooked up to the mains essentially 18.8 .8 on the fermenter looking good up the back of the HLT we've uh, altered the overflow tube so we've got a proper pipe running to the floor now should it overflow and then for recirculation instead of coming around and piggybacking off that overflow I've made a little extension to the uh, vent tube this is the, uh, the air vent basically when you're filling it up so there's, air, well, there's somewhere for the air to go so we can hook the recirculation pipe to there and it'll just go into the top this doesn't have any gasket on there so the air can escape while we're filling her up and we've still got an overflow so we're safe in that respect if we overfill it um, but it shouldn't be an issue because we've got the float valve in there but just if we put any water in through any of the, any of the other inlets it could be an issue the uh, boiler's been cleaned out the pumps had another run this morning, well, doing it now with some fresh water. You can see there's a little bit of residue still coming out there. But that's just being rinsed off with clean water. The only thing I've not done is open the trap. So I think I'll set you down and we'll do that now. Okay, so I'll be interested to see what we've got in here. So we we'll just have to lift her up because at the moment, until I make a trolley for this, the thumb screw on the uh, clamp is acting as a little bit of a stand. Here we go. I'd better just pull that out of the bucket, otherwise we're going to end up draining, draining the bucket. Come on. Oh, look at that lot. And that, folks, is why we use the pump trap. So this is all the bits of grain and hot material that managed to get caught last night in the pump. Look at that, beautiful. Wonderful job. So I'll get rid of that, we'll clean it, and then we'll fill this pump up. You see, all that would have gone into the pump housing. It's, this has stopped it. So we'll clean it up and we'll put some more sanitizer in that bucket. Give it another rinse. Give it a good clean. Let's have a look down there. Yeah, it's pretty clean in there. Right, let's get rid of this. I'm pretty impressed with that. Nice work.
Well, that's tomorrow's grain in the in the mash tun. I was going to say in the bag. It's not in the bag, is it? What do you think to that bad boy? It's a pretty sight. Just a bit of liquor treatment to weigh out now. AMS and DWB. And then I imagine Gemma will be here. Well, that's the grain weighed out and in the mash tun. The control panel is set. And I'm going to have to find some energy from somewhere for tonight because I'm tired. Might just be a few beers at home. Come on then, dude. Oh, can you turn the lights off for me down bottom? I forgot. I asked you to do that when I shouted you. Oh, God, I'll go and do it. You go upstairs and turn those lights off, please. Why? You're taking it with you. Oh, my God. No wonder I'm bloody tired. I'm tired of kids. Right. <laughs> we'll see you later. If you ask some other people who are participating, it's a great day out. And then another event which we've got is we're going to Burton on Trent round the Brewing Museum, which will be a fantastic day. If anybody wants to go on that, Will you please see Wayne with our social secretary? Right, I'm going to hand you over now, Terry, who's going to do the presentation. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Well, good evening, everybody. I'm Nilsen. Pleased to be here on behalf of North Knots Camera. Uh, and it's going to be a good night. I'm sure it will. Anyway, a bit of background, first of all, about the brew shed. I understand the brook shed opened on 1st of August last year. And due to a lot of hard work to get the pub up and running and open ready, it was from uh, Harry, Gemma and Stuart, put lots of work into it. Um, achieved a lot during that first 10 and a half months, approximately. During the first year, about 10 and a half months. And all I'll say is, and watch this space, there's a lot of things happening, but there's a lot of more things about to happen. But Stuart might mention something later, not sure, he <laughs> might do. Uh, but an interesting comment was on, uh, looked on uh, TripAdvisor this morning. There's an interesting comment on TripAdvisor, and it said, and I think it sums it up. It, it seems to me to be perfect, whoever put this comment on. Somebody, not from Redford, I don't think. But it says, friendly staff, great atmosphere, real ale kept well. Now, to me, that's the absolute perfect pub. A good real ale pub. Friendly well, staff, to friendly staff, friendly staff, real ale kept well. <laughs> but somebody's put that on, been in the pub, put that on TripAdvisor, and I think that's great. It did say sign, uh, Arian Stewart Redford. <laughs> 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 no, that bit isn't true. The rest of it is true. That bit isn't stand for that. Um, right, anyway, due to the dedication, Stuart, Harry, Gemma, all the staff, Emma and Sam, Ever and Sam as well, not forgetting, and if I forgot anyone, I'm sorry about that. Probably. But, <laughs> but there's a lot of work gone into it, and but more importantly, or equally as important, if not more importantly, is the support of the older customers. Keeps the pub opening, open, keeps the pub going, and has helped the pub to achieve the awards that it's already achieved. Now, the brew shed is going from strength to strength, and we're pleased to support it from North Knott's camera. And it's previously won two awards in the first year, like less than the first year. It won the Pub of the Season Autumn 2017 Award. The Pub of the Year, that's the highest one as a branch week and award for 2018. That's the three star award as we might call it. So well done, that's a great achievement on its own anyway. And now the latest award, which is based on the votes of camera members, which will be some of you in here today, I'm sure, will be Captain Mike, will be camera members, and camera members from all, all over. Um, but based on the votes, the Brill Shed actually achieved 61% of the votes. So I reckon, well done, I said, yeah, well done to that. <laughs> absolutely brilliant, that's absolutely true, absolutely, absolutely fact, and uh, that's I'm really well done, that's really good. But I'd now like to. Stop talking <laughs> and present to Stuart on behalf of North Knox North, North Camera the Pub of the Season Award for Spring 2018. Thank you, 
Uh, I won't whistle on too much. Uh, Terry said pretty much everything that I was going to say. Uh, I want to thank uh, every customer that comes in, camera members, non-camera members. If it wasn't for your support, then we wouldn't know where we were. Uh, thank competition in Redford and Worksop, because if you guys weren't so good over at Beer Eggs or the Mallard, then we wouldn't be pushing ourselves to exceed it either. Um, so thank you for everyone that comes in. If you're not a camera member, you have some form from the bar, you want to get yourself joined up, you get some money off vouchers at other national chains. Um, but thank you, thank you for the uh, for the award. Thanks for 